up guys, it's Lacey from Sailor and Family Slay Kids, but today we're going to do my mom video. So today we're going to be we're going to be going through decorations for Christmas and we're going to try out the Christmas tree if it's tall enough or short. So since it's Thanksgiving, we already started on the turkey and the mashed potatoes and the baked potatoes. And uh, so, let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> so, as my daughter had said, yes, thank you for watching this video. And we will be putting up our Christmas tree. We started out putting up our old Christmas tree, but the lights were still giving me trouble. So, we just took that down and we put up a new Christmas tree. So, in this video, you will see us do both. Put up the old one, take down the old one. Um, put up the new one and decorate and then after we get finished decorating the Christmas tree I will be cleaning out cleaning up after Thanksgiving and cleaning out the refrigerator So this is a putting up the tree type video and deep cleaning my kitchen video I'm going to there's going to be a grocery haul in this video as well as me cleaning out the refrigerator I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy us have a little family moment putting up our Christmas tree, and happy holidays. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas All Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. This time of year is a time to cheer. Let our love us, our family and friends have a Christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter. Let us make memories that stay forever. Today. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you.
So this video started because my kids wanted to place, um, put up the Christmas tree. I told them that if they moved all the things that my niece was supposed to pick up, which she still have and it's still sitting in my bedroom, um, if they moved it to my bedroom, we could put up the Christmas tree. And they did it in 10 minutes. It was like they moved so fast. So we're going to put up this Christmas tree, fluff it out. And then we're go I forgot to connect the lights at this point. If I have connected the lights before I had gotten to the top of the tree I probably would have saved a lot of time um fluffing from fluffing out this tree and all the other things mind you we were still cooking and we were going back and forth from the Christmas decorations to the kitchen still cooking Thanksgiving let me know in the comments how your Thanksgiving turned out ours was okay um this dressing had too much cayenne in it so it was spicy and it wasn't like like hot right off the bat it was like one of those hidden heats like you eat it and you're like oh that's good and then your mouth is on fire so <laughs> we didn't eat all the dressing <laughs> and then the baked potatoes were good but again it could be better the heat from the from the dressing offset the blandness of the baked potatoes so yeah, it was one of those Thanksgivings. We were very thankful to have all the things that we had. And very satisfied in the fact that we, we did cook as a unit. Lacey did the potatoes. Ajuka did the chopping of the carrots and of the green beans. He cut the ends off the green beans. And I did the dressing and the sweet potatoes. So... All in all, a very good and productive Thanksgiving. We had fun doing this. And I hope you guys enjoy us. Figure out this Christmas tree debacle. Keeping people please 
But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Struggling in the crossroads of being too warm 
summer too cold Hey there buddy It's just me again You walked out of my life that time And I guess I'm still wondering Do you still think of me sometimes? Or have you truly moved on? Anyway, happy Christmas From me to you oh, Happy Christmas From me to you So, as you can see, the kids were totally excited about the new Christmas tree. I surprised them with the new Christmas tree. They were like, oh, we have a new Christmas tree? Uh, whatever. <laughs> so, we, um, we put up the Christmas tree, and they were excited about decorating the small Christmas tree versus the large Christmas tree. And it just wasn't working. The lights were giving me a hard time. It was getting a little holy if you know what I mean, um, I would have to have to fill the Christmas tree in garland to make it look a little thicker. Um, but it was fine. Um, we wanted to keep it because my mom gave me that tree. But and it's saying better days. So we're going to decorate the Christmas tree. To be honest, I've taken everything down and redecorated because <laughs> I just it wasn't what I was going for. And I wanted to change it and hopefully it looked a lot more better than what we did this day. It was on the lighter side than I wanted. I think we should have started off with the purple ornaments instead of the white ornaments because it became overly white and silver. When the theme this year was to be moody, a moody Christmas, but it turned out into like a... Um, a sugar plum fairy type Christmas and I was like um this is not the vibe and I've already told the kids next year they get to pick the theme so I don't want to have regrets this year and be like oh I want to decorate this year and not let them decorate next year so I took everything down and I redecorated the Christmas tree because I only get this chance next year is their chance to decorate the Christmas tree so yeah, we're taking turns picking things. So we're going to put this Christmas tree up and then you're going to see me do the kitchen in a short while. Finally don't get no fuss, finally be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the book, I don't give up what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moon
to find your way Let's see you smiling Since we were stuck in LA We can't jump the rooftop and Come watch the skyline with me Wasting any dreams this Christmas I've made my wish upon that star The only dream of which my list consists is To always be wherever you are this year there will be no praying for the snow to fall It would not make a difference to me at all No, I'm not wasting any dreams This Christmas I've made my wish and it came Denying I am as lucky as can be This year the wishing star has shone its light on me I am as happy as a child on Christmas I've made my wish and it came true all I want for Christmas is you Well, this portion of the video was filmed. I was, I had a my lunch break for work and i had been asking my daughter to clean the kitchen so she'd gotten about this far so i just came in and had a 30 minute lunch break and filmed it cleaned the just washed the dishes she had already cleaned off the countertop and done all the things so i was just coming in behind her to do this so this was this day so this was sunday and the next portion of the video will be um we filmed on my, on Monday. So Sunday night, I washed the dishes. That's all I did. And then the next day, I came in and did all the other things, like clean out the refrigerator and all the continued cleaning. So, yeah. This is how I sometimes spend my lunch break, either cooking or washing the dishes. It's one or the other. Never both, because, again, I only have a 30-minute lunch break.
Now, this morning I was listening to the Two Hot Takes um, podcast. I I'm obsessed with the podcast right now. That one and the Korean Vegan are my two that I go back and forth between. Sometimes I listen to Crime, but for the most part, it's just the Two Hot Takes and the Korean Vegan. And then if not those, then I'm listening to an audiobook or and or listening to music. Um, I do listen to this app called Radio FM. It's like um, mostly books, but you have to like, it's a subscription type thing. And every day they put out like maybe three or four sections of the podcast or the book out for free. And then the next day you have to come back and do the, the, do the next free three or four takes. It's it gets a little annoying sometimes and I did pay for it once and all the what is it it started out as like one coin here, two coins here, and then the first time after I paid it went up from four coins to seven coins and I was like, I'm never paying for that again. So um that is what I do when I'm cleaning. Either I'm listening to podcasts or listening to music or listening to an audiobook or or um, watching a YouTube video. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you guys do when you're cleaning? What um, what do you use as a motivation or a distraction when you're cleaning? And I just want to know. Leave it down in the comments. And thank you for making this far. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Shirley Jean. I am a 31-year-old, about to be 32, work-from-home mom. I have a daughter who is a 10. She's about to be 10 this weekend. And her name is Lacey, which is the L. And then my son, Ajuka, he is about 8. And we live in... Um, we live near Memphis, Tennessee, in near Memphis, Tennessee. If you appreciate my videos, I really appreciate you guys for being here. We do a decor. We do cleaning on a daily basis. We do lifestyle videos. If you like what you see here, come and join us. I've noticed that half the people who watch my video are not subscribed. About 86% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So take the moment out and push the little red button and push a little thumbs up button and leave a comment down below and you guys have a nice and awesome day thank you for continuing to watching my videos and thank you for coming back we really it's really appreciated here we did reach our goal of 500 subscribers and that was before the end of the year i am so excited we're now about we have about a, a 524 subscribers it is so cool i did not expect it to grow that fast with me putting it out in the universe that I wanted 500 subscribers, it grew about a month. It took about a month to get there, and I'm so excited, and thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, maybe I should do a giveaway for those who, I mean, for the subscribers that I do have. I think I'm going to figure out some type of way of doing a giveaway for reaching that 500 subscriber goal. Yeah, and leave... A, uh, let's see let's do 
I don't know. We're going to think about it. We're going to think about it. Give me, give me some suggestions on what you would like is a giveaway. And if you guys are interested in receiving a give, giveaway, whether it's an Amazon gift card or a pre, a PayPal gift card or whatnot. But we're going to do something for the, subs, sub, the subscribers that I've gained in the past couple months, which is really, really exciting. Okay, back to the video. I 
I know it's all love, everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good, good. know it's all love.
own space of mind Making boss moves in my own time And I got my own rhymes Find me all alone, I'm on the road I had to take a couple hits, a couple stones But targets I don't ever miss, they wanna know to be me Let me give you this game for free No, you will see me on the come up Big girl with big dreams and big dreams So I did go under the cabinet and declutter a few things. I did tidy up my children's lunchbox station area. So yeah, I needed a rack from the from that area to put in my pots and pans area to make it easier to stack those pans in that drawer, which came in clutch. I am currently cleaning out my refrigerator, cleaning it out in sections i did the first top shelf and the second shelf as well as cleaned the bins in those two areas i do corral my meats and dairies in their own container and there is a drawer on the second shelf that i use for um, um yogurts and apple sauces and fruit cups that needed to be cleaned as well i rearranged my beverage area at first it was on the bottom and this go around i'm going to place it at the top we've had it this way for about a week and i like it but i don't like it i can see everything but i can't see everything i totally wish this refrigerator was on some type of a riser i am not a tall person i am above average at five eight but <clears throat> bath 859 on a given day <clears throat> so i tend not to be able to see in this apartment size refrigerator so it is small by any standard um i wish they made apartment size refrigerators with the drawer on the bottom and the refrigerator at the top i don't know um but in this apartment i didn't get the option of picking my appliances um, this apartment came fully equipped with um, appliances. Normally, um, there's a surcharge for um, having appliances in a resident. And there is a surcharge for this apartment to have the appliances. So, but the next go around, I am going to find something where I can supply my own uh, appliances. And get the type of refrigerator that I will like and that is easier on the back so I am going to continue to put all the things back in the refrigerator and then after I restock this section I'm going to do the same to the last two shelves and also at the door um there was a lot of leftover containers and a lot of vegetables and produce that went bad I did transfer the baking the bacon into its own um still tight airtight container which i thought was a good idea because the packaging for the bacon does is not resellable and how do you guys clean out your refrigerator do you do do you take everything out first or do you do like i'm doing do it section by section and take everything out and rearrange and do all the things let me know in the comments Get it so tired, get it so damn tired of Get it so tired, get it so damn tired Get it so tired, get it so damn tired of I might wake up at noon, that maybe it's news, yeah, I'ma just do what I want I don't need no approval, I'ma just do whatever I feel like, uh Going out all night with my friends, spend the whole day just laying in bed Please don't mess with my mood, don't say what to do, yeah, I'ma just do what I want I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life I'm getting 
so sick of them trying to tell me what's wrong or right Losing my patience, I don't care about what you think, no I'm so goddamn tired of people trying to tell me how to live my life So addressing a comment that I recently saw, it was regarding the clutter in my home. You have to keep in mind that I did live in a three-bedroom house before moving into this apartment. I did not have the time to go through everything and declutter for the two-bedroom apartment, one bath that I'm currently living in. The house that I lived in had two bathrooms and three bedrooms. So my children are now sharing a room, which is why we have two dressers in their bedroom. Um, we had a garage and an attic and I was able to have tools and yard things Christmas decor all the things and I had storage and space to store all these things and now um we are in a two-bedroom house and I still haven't really I did get rid of some things but I haven't gotten rid of all things because I don't plan on standing here staying here once the market goes back get back to normal we will be moving so for those people who are commenting that my house is cluttered yes it is cluttered and if my living room was if my living room was larger it'll it would have enough space to house my one couch and chair and ladder shelf and all the things. But because um, we are working with what we have and I'm not going out and buying furniture that is smaller, that is apartment size and going out and repurchasing things for smaller spaces. I'm not doing that because I know I'm not going to be in this place forever. So bear with the content bear with what i have it's my space if you don't like it it's just know that you don't have to live with it i do so with that being said i hope you are enjoying this video if you have any music suggestions leave a comment down below i do get my music off of epic sounds and currently i'm in a music rut i'm using the same the same music but finding new music is a little harder because you know i'm doing based on my ear not you guys's ear so and but and you're the one you're the people watching my videos so 
if you have with that being said if you have any suggestions on what you want to listen to or if you like the music just leave a thumbs up and i'll know that if the thumbs up is from you liking the music To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. To let it go And that's why I Wish you the best To say goodbye You start to get dressed And then we cry Cause we both know It's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I wish you the best to see So at this point, I have been cleaning up the kitchen for quite some time and I was a little over cleaning up the kitchen. I think I was cleaning up the kitchen for maybe three or four hours at this point. No, I think it was like, yeah, about three or four hours. So I said, no, I'm not going to be cleaning up the kitchen anymore. <laughs> And I just moved on to something else. But again, this is a deep cleaning of the kitchen. So I came back another day, which was the next day, to do the dishes that came out the refrigerator. So this will be the night's dinner dishes, the night before dinner's dishes, and the containers from the refrigerator. All of those dishes had to be washed. So this is me cleaning all of those dishes and the night before his dishes so um with oh i was using some mrs meyers cream cleanser to clean off my stove 
I like to use it for the stove for the whitening effect that it gives my stove. I haven't found anything that shines it as well as Mrs. Meyer's Cream, Cream Cleanser. And I will be attacking all these dishes. I think this is about the third time I've washed dishes in this video. So, yeah. If you need some dish cleaning motivation, dishwashing motivations, hashtag no dishwasher life. Um, <laughs> yeah, here you go. It's right here for the taking. It's all yours. Enjoy. Was praying for possibilities. Lately you got the best of me. Yeah. You got the best of me. Embracing our insecurities. Better to cry and say.
So my car is down so I had to order my groceries so I washed the dishes. I just washed the dishes and my groceries just arrived and I'm going to show you what I got. And I'm kind of happy he did boxes because it's what else. Okay so I got some yogurt squeeze tubes. This is all came from Aldi. Um, got some Rice crispy Treats for the kids. Some hot chocolate for my daughter. I mean for again for the kids. And then some penne pasta. Oh, you can't see that. So, penny pasta, some Hershey chocolates because I know she's going to want to wash marshmallows, and that's what's up. I got some Swiss cakes for snacks. Some, um, these are the little, what is these called? These are slow cooker liners. So, yeah, for the slow cooker. Uh, I got three cans of this Mandarin oranges. This is, um, the... Another can of menu oranges. We got ramen for snacks. Um, my kids think of this as a treat, which is weird. And then, because I grew up on these, which is why I'm like, a treat? Whatevs. Um, corn dogs. Got one blueberry yogurt. Some queso. I'm making like a taco casserole tonight, which hints the taco seasoning right there. And then I got some... What is these called? French sticks. Ground beef. And then over here, I got another box of French toast sticks. And he packed these really well. I would not have packed this that well. Because um, I do Instacart while, when my car is working, but my car is not working, so Instacart came in clutch. Got some hash brown. Uh, some wonton. This is everybody's faves. Uh, another pack of ground beef. Some avocado this is the avocado bacon ranch chopped salad i like to eat that whole bag as a snack i mean like lunch not a snack but like a, a lunch snack whatever and then some seasoned fries potatoes got some gnocchi i wanted to try this out it looked good and I hadn't seen that before so this is some stuffed gnocchi with um cream with sausage and cream sauce it's a cheese sauce it's a cheese stuffed potato gnocchi um it looked intriguing it looked good marshmallows got some ham another pack of marshmallows this is for that um taco casserole thing um some lettuce shredded this is southwest salad i like this um, um again as a lunch or snack for me and some mexican cheese also got some sliced cheese for sandwiches some kale chips some, some kettle chips jalapeno spinach some frozen strawberries for smoothies some mild um mild cheddar cheese apples and oranges my son will go like through that bag in a couple days which ugh, him and groceries don't get along this is pears my son's favorite peaches my favorite um white sauce um basically alfredo sauce i call it white sauce white sauce um diced tomatoes back there some white chocolate mocha right there um again diced tomatoes this is some peaches some pineapple chunks some 
sliced date peaches, some tomato and basil, um, bread sauce, another thing of a blueberry yogurt, pineapple chunks again, peach sausage, um, peach slices, strawberry yogurt, right there, strawberry yogurt, apple juice, peach slices, stokes, Two things of blueberries, uh, another red, uh, another strawberry yogurt back there, and then I got some paper towels. I really don't like these. I like the green pack. These are a little too thin for me, but this is what they had in stock. Um, hence, they say compared to Sparkle. I don't like these. And then they had some strong and soft, so I like these. And then the all the find of the day was this cake stand. My cake stand broke because um, I stored it in the attic with all the Christmas decor. And this was a marble cake stand with a wood base. I like that. That's pretty cute. So I got that. Um, and that's what I got from Aldi. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a long one and a little bit of a kitchen clean with me and organize with me. I'm going to put all this food away. I'm not going to record me putting all this food away. But I'm going to put all this food away. And I hope you guys have a nice and awesome day. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments down below. Tell me what's your favorite snack from Aldi. If it's fruit or if it's a salad or if it's gnocchi or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you and goodbye.